And so what it is about the Buddhist view then, why is it I like to be a Buddhist? What is it? Well, the key, the key thing about being a Buddhist, um, it's, it's about the mind, actually. I mean, you could say that Buddha is a psychologist. This is what I'm really not joking when I say he's more similar to a scientist, <coughs> insofar as what Buddha is said to be is a person who is presenting his own findings. So everything that is said to be Buddhism, and we need to check that it is valid what we're hearing, that it's coming from a valid source, is actually not from some vision, not something he's invented. No way is he a creator. It's actually from his own direct experience. So I think this, this approach of verification, of, va of validating, of making it experiential, is, is the central point in Buddhism, that I'm taking Buddhism as my working hypothesis. And this really is the, actually the way of saying it in our <coughs> contemporary world, the way of saying the way to use Buddhism in your daily life, which puts the onus on us. The Buddha would suggest that the mind is not physical. And so then the question we ask is, where do I come from? Where do I come from, you know? The Buddha would say, well, basically, your consciousness, if you think of it as like a river of mental moments, this moment of your consciousness comes from a previous moment of your consciousness. Like, a, like I said, a river of mental moments. So this is where this business of karma comes in. Karma is this a natural law, as far as the Buddha is concerned, his observations, are that it's the way things work, and it's really just the law of cause and effect. We come into this life fully programmed with our own stuff, that no one gave it to us. We're not made this way by somebody else. It doesn't come from our genes and our DNA. The, the implication of this is kind of tasty. It means that we're the boss. It means that whatever's in my mind is mine. You are the main cause of your suffering, and you are the main cause of your happiness. So Buddha's whole view, like I'm saying, the experiential implication of it is that it puts us in the absolute centre of our own lives. It puts us absolutely central in terms of accountability. Here is that if whatever's in my mind is the result of my practice, then I can change it. 